Yo, MP, what's up, man? Big fan. Boss, what's good, fam? Yo, huge fan, man. That one track you did with that verse. Yo, look, for the record, I think you're just as good a player as Shep. I mean, sure, he's more athletic, more dynamic, more exciting, yeah. but you know what I mean. <laughs> I, you I, I, you I know right. what you mean. I know what you mean, man. Yo, but, uh, cold around? Oh, he just left. Seriously? Oh, man, I was looking to, like, talk to him about a collab together or something like that. A collab with you? Yeah. I mean, Cole gonna say no, but... I feel you. Wait, why would he say no? Bro, do you know how many people are trying to get a verse out of Cole every day? Probably a lot. <laughs> Definitely a lot, man. Look, I like UNP, and you could ball, but you have no track record with music. It just is what it is. I got to slide, man, but it was good to meet you. Most that, man. It's a pleasure, man. Hey, and I'm going to be seeing you soon. Trust. That's a bet. That's a bet. Yo, what's up, MP? Oh, Cole, what's good, baby? What's up, man? How you feeling? I'm bad. Yeah, I'm good. Your boss is your man, right? Yes, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's telling me about you. Yeah, how you mean? I'm chilling, bro. I'm going uh, to go over here and warm up, though. I'll let y'all catch up. Sure. Bet. Yo, boss. What's up, man? You trying to film the game? Learn a few moves, man? I teach you my Afro step. It's like a Euro step, just, you know, free of any colonial over <laughs> Nah, man. I'm actually just trying to get some basketball sounds for this, this track that I'm about to remix a little bit. Oh, that sound like some PhD monk stuff. Yo, it is, bro. Like, I'm actually working with him. He told you to look out for cyborgs? Bro, he thought I was a cyborg, bro. Like, seriously? I can see that, man. But yo, put in a good word for me. I've been trying to get him in the studio for a minute. Oh, for sure. I got you, man. Yo, and maybe I'm putting him with the code, man. I don't know for real, man. I don't I mean, think I it's the right time, bro. bro. I, can go over there I don't think it's the right time. Bro trying to unwind. That's why he hoop, you know? If you at Sunday brunch and your fans want to run a one-on-one, -on -one, you want to do that? Nah, you gotta play. Yeah. <laughs> of course not, bro. But you know what? I mean, I'm sure he'd love to hoop with you. You wanna run? Yeah! <laughs> All right, man. Just set up your phone over there. It's a, it's a bit of an echo over here at times. Yo, I appreciate that, man. Look out, bro. Is that J. Cole? Jermaine? Cole? The Ville is back. The real is back. Is that him? I think so. It's time to put on a show, baby. Come on, man, right out the gate, J. Cole pulling up. Yaka! Like that? Hold on, step back with the sauce. It's a cold world, my boy. A very cold world. Me and Cole, boy, the dynamic duo. It's like PG and Trey Young teaming up. Bang! J. Cole don't miss. That boy is a shooter. Step back. Bang! Come on, man. I tried to get Cole to throw me a lob, but it wasn't working. So, send the ass home. Bang! Put the step back yet again. Get him out of here. Yo, good game, man. Appreciate it, fam. Word up. Yo, run. Look, bro, if you ever want to hoop, come rock with us, man. Like, I'm always trying to get better. So, any chance I got to play with a high level pro like you, bro, it's priceless. Yo, that's love, fam. For Word real, up. man. Hey, you know, um, outside of basketball, uh, I appreciate it, man. Nah, no doubt. Yeah. I'll see you around, bro. For sure. Take it easy, bro. I got you. We'll do it the right time. Okay. So we got the Philadelphia 76ers. Joel Embiid, James Harden, Maxi Harris Tucker. This team is all right. I ain't going to lie. But we running into an issue at the wrong time. This is not the time to be running into starting lineup glitches. RJ Barrett and Derrick Rose got benched for Emmanuel and Evan Fournier? What? You already know the vibes. We back at it again. Back in action with the Brody. Eli Showtime Harris. Taking on the 76ers in Philly. Come set that screen. It's still live. Set it. You know I got to get my dimes. I got to get mines, but hold on, I'm snatching ankles. Oh my goodness, and they gotta foul me. Every time I go to the basket, bro, they beating my ass. They treat me like Michael Jordan back in the 90s. What the hell? But I got something for you. Let it rain. Let it rain. That green Ralisa. That green meat, that shit, that boy, hold on. Oh my goodness, damn! James got him touching the floor. Is you down there mopping? What the hell are you doing? I'm wide open. Let it right. Wax like water. Give me the ball. Spin out, 
snatch back back inside. Damn! The combinations. I'm saucing them up, but damn! Oh, damn! Get off the damn floor quickly and do it quickly. You're getting bullied. Joel and B with the post. To oh, damn. They out here cooking. They out here cooking. My guard's getting torched. My big's getting torched. Boy, it's about to be a bad damn night. No, it ain't. I'm here. I'm here. Showtime is here. I got us. I, I can't help them, though. So they just going to have to get cooked. They're going to have to get torched. And then I'm going to have to save the day on the other end. Look at the step back. The pull up. Bang. God damn. My team getting torched. Throw that alley. Yeah. Throw them things off. I can go get it. I'm calling for a screen from my damn self and team take to throw myself these alley -oops. Look at my big getting cooked. Oh my damn. This spin move snatch back. Look at the handles. I'm getting shifty. Hold on, it's supposed to be a lockdown defender, and I'm still cooking them, throwing a lob. I ain't gonna lie, I was going not a damn way. I was, go I was going nowhere. But well, shut your mouth, James Harden. Yo, Joel and James, what the hell, y'all, y'all, yo? Why y'all? You know what? Say less. Hey, I'm here. You still got to deal with me though. You can bully them, but I'm a bully y'all. Including your lockdown. Thiable, step back. Hold on, do it again. Step back. Let it rain. Let it rain. I'm cooking your lockdown. Your best defender out here getting torched. And I don't even know the dribble moves completely yet. So just wait until I learn them. It's about to get real nasty out here real soon. Wait until I get that posterizer and wait until I learn these dribble moves. It's going to get reckless. It's going to get wicked. I'm telling you now. Hold on, throw that. Wah! Big head Julius. Julius big head goddamn Randall. Hold on. Is he about to show up? Is he showing up? Julius. Okay. Julius came to play. In the corner, pull up. Julius is here. He finally woke up and then they sent me to the bench. Oh my lord, coach, you pissing me off. I cut the lead down, then I took the lead and then you send me to the bench and now we lost the lead again. The hell wrong with this crackhead coach? The hell going on, brother? No, I gotta get us the lead back again. Look at this, oh my god, just look at me saucing them up. Sauce them up. The step backs, the between the legs, the crosses. I'ma learn it. I'ma I'm learn it. And what? Let me get mine. Let me get mine. Show me to the line. Let me get mine. Show me to the line. Hey, let me hey, get mine. Hey, let me get mine. Hey, I'm gonna hey, be fine. I said, shake, shake those shoulders. Hey, make that free throw. Shake those shoulders. Make that free throw. Hey, converting the three point play. Getting the three points the old fashioned way. Joel and B. Oh my, oh damn. Joel Embiid hitting the post step backs. Oh Mitchell, god damn it. Get out the way, Julius. Never mind. And why? Okay, Julius. Look at this crackhead, Tobias Harris. You got Joel Embiid and James Harden on your team and you take that crackhead ass shot, but what? Step back, quickly, Emmanuel, quickly! Bang! Taking the lead! My teammates actually hitting shots! Boy, who, what? Defense, we are only up by one. We need perfect, and I mean perfect, defense. Please, do not let Harden or Joel and B cook you all oh my, no! No! Let's go! But it's not over. Mitchell is going to the free throw line of all people. Mitchell Roth. Oh my God. Please. Let's go. One of one. Let's go!
game over! Let's go! We brought the team back! We came back from so many damn deficits, bro! They tried to hold me this game, dog. They kept sending me to the bench. Every time I would cut the lead, take the lead, they send me to the bench, I come back in the game and we losing again. And I still came out victorious. Stop playing with the guard. Eli Showtime Harris. And this was my very first triple double in the NBA. 30, 11, and 12 on that Hall of Fame versus a 76ers team that actually just got two monsters on the squad. Don't matter. Eli Showtime Harris is a god. Yes, sir! So what's the big emergency? Someone die or something? Your guess is as good as mine. So you don't know anything? No, I just got a text from Ricky saying to meet here as soon as possible. I got the same one. Ash, anything? Nope. And everything's clear on social, so it's not about anything happening online. No, of course. No, you have my word. All right. All right, thanks. Take care. You want to tell us what's going on, Rick? Look, it's... It's Othello. He's trying to trade you. Excuse me? Look, there's a lot of backstory here, but... Yeah, the bottom line is Othello's trying to trade you, and we all need to talk strategy. Oh, I got plenty of time right now, Ricky. So how about you just backtrack a little bit and tell me exactly what's going on? So I know with how you know all that. Look, I, I can't tell you all that, man. Look, this is like some deep state office politics, but... Look, just trust me, the intel is solid. And that intel is? Othello feels Freddy's trying to replace him. We're talking about Brandon marketing, Freddy? Yeah. Brandon Yo, bro, friend. that is insane. Dude is not even a basketball guy. Yeah, you know that. I know that. But from Othello's perspective, he feels like Freddy is Phil's right-hand man, which means that he's in his ear, which means he can recommend firing him. You know what they think about each other? Not exactly best friends. <laughs> yeah, that's putting it lightly. Look, right now, Othello feels threatened. And when a man like Othello feels threatened, he lashes out. So what does that have to do with me? You're Freddy's pet project. Look, with you gone, Freddy's whole reasoning for being here disappears. But I thought they brought him here to, like, modernize the marketing department or no, something like that. No, that's mostly for the media. Freddy's an A-plus marketing guy, but the real reason he was brought on was to solve the MP problem. Don't, don't, wait, wait, no, no, what? no. MP project? Oh, what, what, what is that? Don't get emotional. My point is, if you're gone, it means that Freddy failed to sell you to the fan base. And if Freddy failed, that means that Phil failed. And if Phil failed, somebody's going to pay for that. It's not going to be Phil. Look, look, just... Right now, Othello's trying to consolidate his power. I mean, think about it. With Freddy out of the picture, that's just one less person who can question Othello's way of doing things. What are you thinking? If he wants to trade me, let him trade me. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. If the fans don't want me, my own organization doesn't want me. Why am I even here? You don't mean that. No, I do. How many times am I to get told that I'm not wanted before I take the hint? Look, it's MP, not... I know that this is a hard pill to swallow, but you're looking at this the wrong then way. How should I be looking at it, Ricky? How? As, as one man's opinion who's out of touch on the modern NBA player trying to desperately save his job. One yeah. man, an entire city. What is the difference no, in no, this no, case? No. The fans are the fans, and you know you are well on your way to winning them over. Winning cures everything. Remember that. And what about Othello? Okay, yeah, that, that situation is a little trickier to navigate, but you're not powerless here. Okay. So tell me. What power do I have in this situation? You can fight back. Look, if Othello's the only one trying to ship you off, then he's creating a you versus him situation. Okay. Make it so he has to leave, not you. And how do we do that then? There are ways. Yeah. See this? This is a PR problem. Othello wants to trade you? Fine. We're gonna make sure that everybody knows that he's doing that out of spite and paranoia, not for the good of the team. If we can make your case persuasively, we can get the press on your side. Mm -hmm. And once national press starts calling for a GM's job, very rare that they survive. You know what, guys? I appreciate all the fun little capers you have planned for me. But like I said, I'm good. Wait, if they want to trade me, let them trade me. No, MP, think let about this. Let them trade me. 